Hi everyone. Um, welcome to oh my ears are like little satellite dishes. Welcome to day 10 of the secret daily inspirational teachings. It is January 10th, of course, 2021, and I um it's Sunday. So the Lord said that we are supposed to rest on Sundays. And that is exactly what I've been doing, resting in between mommy duty, of course. Um, you know, taking care of business for my family, taking care of my my babies. Um, you know, the thing about Sundays is I like to use Sundays to clean. So I um, have been doing a lot of nesting and getting stuff together. Um, so, yeah, I'm in my pajamas, y'all. These are, this is one of my favorite pajamas, you know, one of my favorite pajamas right here. Um, I'm really into prints. But, yeah, so I'm in my pajamas and my bonnet. Um, a little bit more casual than usual, but as long as you get this message, that's really all that matters, right? So, I just wanted to reiterate that me with me being an empath, I sense people's energy and I have been sensing a lot of bad vibes from people there's a lot of tension in the air and I can't say this enough I don't understand why Democrats are so bent on so adamant looking for revenge and they're so just hostile why are you guys so hostile you know what happened at the Capitol building was not right um but it didn't even happen to the Democrat Party. It happened to Republicans. Um, and so I don't understand why Democrats are using this as ammunition to just create more negative energy when we should be focusing on healing the country. We should be focusing on people who need help the most. And those are the people who are suffering and being ignored while Democrats create this distraction instead of doing what they have to do to help people um it's a replay of last year it's like deja vu it's like deja vu it was literally around this time last year when the coronavirus pandemic got out of hand because of impeachment hearings the definition of insanity is doing the same thing and expecting different results is this just a way to avoid having to send out those $2,000 checks? Is this just a way to justify not helping people who need it the most? That's what I think is going on here. And to put all this negative attention on President Trump is not the way to do it because I personally will be focusing on all of his accomplishments over the past four years that I am grateful for as a Trump supporter. So with that being said, regardless of who you support, I ask you to look deep within and if you have any ounce of, um, what is the word, revenge flowing through your blood or hostility towards the Republican Party or just unnecessary anger you need to check yourself all right check your feelings and then check your attitude at the door because we need healing in the world right now everyone wants to talk about unity nobody's ready for that but one thing we all can agree on is we need to make this world a healthier place and it begins with the mind so check your mind body and soul and get your together okay because a lot of you are not being you know a lot of these politicians are not exhibiting role model behavior and that's a whole nother subject but that is what's causing the moral decline of our country and we need to restore our character as a country check yourself all right so Day 10 says, 
Um, you are a unique and magnificent human being. Of all the billions of people on the very exist, of all the billions of people on the planet, there is not another you, and your very existence is vital to the functioning of our universe, because you are one part of the whole universe. All that you see and all that there is could not exist without you. I like this message as it relates to manifesting the life of my dreams because it reminds me that my level of creativity and problem solving skills and um, innovation and um, solution mindedness is not duplicable. People can go out and get plastic surgery all they want and try to look like me. But they will never have my brain. They will never have my mind, body, soul, and spirit. There's only one me. And I thank God for that because I would never want to be anybody else. And the fact that there was only one me and there are things that make me unique is one thing that I cherish deeply. I love myself so much. You know, and I'm not saying that in a conceited kind of way. I'm just saying that because it took me years of being broken by extended family members to learn to love myself beyond superficial um, definition. I lo I've always loved myself, but when I was younger, I just loved what I looked, in the, what looked at in the mirror because I did not have control of my life. I, I could not love myself entirely because I was living because I was being forced to allow other people to live vicariously through me. But now I can be my authentic self and there is nobody like me. And I'm so grateful for that. And we all need to work hard on defining who we are, what are our dreams, what are our strengths, what are our weaknesses, and work from the core of that so that everyone can authentically love themselves and look in the mirror and be proud of who they are, proud of their character, proud of the decisions that they make. Because the life that we live will forever be our legacy. So if you have not yet realized who you are and defined yourself for yourself, acknowledging that you are a unique human being, or if you're trying to live someone else's life, whatever the case may be, you need to really get to it and do that soul work and realize that there is only one you, okay? You can't be anybody else. Nobody else can be you. There's only one you. And you need to define who that you really is from within, not just your exterior appearance, but from the soul, okay? So... I hope that really, you know, inspires somebody today. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to Silverstation Lifestyle. Hit that subscribe button below. And I will see you tomorrow for day 11. All right. Have a blessed Sunday and a great week.